goes down, we on the upside. NDKS third eye, make sure you subscribe. Only fuck with the mad dog. Mad Dog Killer Sub TV, we got uh we got Mulatto Black in the building. What up, Mulatto? What's going on? How are you? Alright, alright. Um Mulatto, I've been uh I've been interviewing a lot of different people in battle rap and to me, um, I, I, I've seen you battle. Uh, I, I know you're from the Facebook group, and I know you got Trap House jersey, right, going on. Right. right. You just recently had a, a battle a couple weeks ago, no, with uh, Tia? T.S., did they go down? No, me and Tia is rescheduled. That'll probably happen in the next month to two months. Okay, okay. Any reason behind it? Uh, what did she pull out? Was it a location or? You know what? It was some venue issues. It was gonna happen on my league. It was gonna be my last battle, but um, I found out in the middle of the night the venue had a fire, and I had a couple hours to try to pull a venue together just for the sake of my guys that were coming from out of town. Mm -hmm. So I canceled with her. I canceled with her. I canceled the host. I canceled the most accessible people that I could. Initially, you know, because I didn't know if I would have a venue or not. But then I found the venue, so we had to just reschedule. It leads me down to this question. One, why would you want to retire? It almost seems like uh, you're in the prime of your career. Um, your name is out there. Why, why do you feel the need to retire? Um, I mean, aside from having a personal life, and I've got things, you know, that I need to tend to, in my personal life that are just priorities, you know? Aside okay. from that, I just want to love it. I don't want to not love it. I don't want to be in a weird place with battle rap where I'm not in the mind frame of putting 100% into it and I'm just not there right now. You know, I don't love it. And before I let it, you know, fuck up the relationship that I have, I would step off for a little bit and, and see, you know, if maybe my feelings change in the future. Okay, okay. Does that mean you still be a league owner and still promote battles and have battles, but just not battle rap yourself? I mean, I got the last card out of the way. I missed a few battles because of the venue situation, some other things that were going on. So another card is inevitable. It has to happen. I'm definitely um, going to have to stay around long enough to promote the battles because these guys put a lot of work into writing and coming out and performing and traveling and everything else. So it's safe to say that I'll have at least that next event. Um, what I'm going to be doing in the future, I don't I don't know. I just want to take a break for a while. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hold back my emotions too with that because... I, <laughs> well, you know, there's, there's a ton of leagues out there, but there's not too many female run leagues by themselves. I mean, Guerrilla Warfare is sort right. of co-owned. You got Black Ice Cartel. Maybe you know one or two other ones. I know, oh, Sarah Connor got her Prism League, of course. Shout out to right, Sarah you Connor. got Boss Chick Rain. Yeah. And, and uh, Queen of the Ring is kind of mixed, you know. Queen of the Ring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, is, it, is it harder for a woman in, in battle rap to have either loyalty with the battle rappers or uh, sort of a... Uh, how can I say? Is it harder for them to have like a real relationship with other leagues and an understanding, if you will, that you see maybe guy owners don't go through? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's probably harder dealing with the artist as a woman, you know, because you're dealing with a lot of egos and a lot of personalities. And often, regardless of if it's business or not, you've got this caveman mentality that a lot of these niggas come into business with. And... That mentality clearly is not an approach you ever want to take in business, but also not with dealing with women. And I think a lot of niggas, you know, they tend to take advantage of dealing with women in business. So we have to, unfortunately, come across more assertive than a man would. Mm. And, and when it's assertiveness, they call it bitchiness. So mm. then you get a label and a title, you know, because you can't accept certain things. Because once you do, you open a floodgate for bullshit. Now, on the other ha aspect, I can't speak for all of the women in the business. I know there were a handful of people 
that reached out to me from bigger leagues that offered to mentor me, so to speak, or kind of took me under their wing, gave me advice, some unwarranted advice, but some very needed advice. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can't speak for the other women or or the men and how they deal with business because it's just me. And luckily, I think I've made some fairly decent relationships with people. So that may be why they fuck with me. See, this is this is why I knew this was gonna be good for my channel. Or I I, I feel it's spewing out of you the authenticity, <laughs> the realness. You know, I, you. I I I saw an interview with you recently, and what stuck in my mind, I think the guy asked you. It was I won't call it a it was it was a question. I'm not gonna call it whether it was good or not. But he said he asked you if you was a star, and you said I'm not a star. I'm a G. And I'm like, oh, that's so hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. What does that mean to you? What does that mean? Does that mean more to you to be like more like of a real person than Hollywood? Is What did that mean? If somebody asks you if you're a star and you're like, no, I'm not a star. I'm a G. What does that mean to you? I mean, this is battle rap. None of us are in the Grammys. None of us, you know, got hit records or are working with platinum producers. You know, few of us have been blessed enough to have opportunities outside of battle rap, but for the most part, this is a hustle. Like, and nine times out of ten, the people that are successful in it are the ones that know how to hustle outside of it. You can't come in here and say, look, this this is easy, I can do this, and you've never got out and grinded or got your hands dirty in the street. And I'm not talking about illegal activities and shit like that. I'm talking about period, just knowing how to hustle, knowing how to make a dollar. You can't come into nothing and be a boss at it. You know, if you don't if you don't have that willpower or like that hustle in you and that it's, it takes a G to do that. Mm. Like you had to be at the bottom to get to the top to be able to realize and differentiate one from the other and just niggas rap about it. But a lot of them haven't lived it. You know what I mean? That's why they come in this and they feel like stars. Because when they're not battling, they suckers. Mm. So they don't know anything about like, you mm. know, th- that that's that's just them smoke and mirrors that a lot of these guys get where I'm like the arrogance and shit that comes with it is crazy because outside of this, they just have never done anything, have never earned anything. I mean, I think it's good to, you know, have confidence in what you're doing, definitely, but you know, some of that shit is just, it's ridiculous when you're talking to an adult. <laughs> when you're talking to a real G, it's like, okay. Huh. You know, and I feel like I jumped the gun. I should have asked you this before. And I could, you know, switch things around, of course. But how did you, what, how did you get turned on to battle rap? I mean, obviously you're not a '90s baby or 2000. I put you at maybe '80s or I'm '70s. An '80s baby. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm right, and uh, I'm a '70s baby, by the way. But um, okay, talk that '70s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they still hold us down in the face, but they talk. They, they say them '70s people is real, but um, right, right. <laughs> I, I guess, give, give me a little insight on how Mulatto Black became Mulatto Black. That's what the people may want to know, especially with you going out. We want to know how you came in. Right. I, um, I always rap. I always rapped mm. since I was a teenager. And in all due honesty, the niggas, my niggas from Philly that came out and, and lived in Jersey for a little bit, and they were stayed somewhere out here. I used to sit out, and it wasn't just the Philly niggas, it was the Jersey niggas, which, like, Jersey, Philly's like my second home now. It still is, you know, so even as a teenager, a lot of my niggas are from Philly. They named me Mulatto. I would go out there, and I would be the chick. It was another girl, you know, and we would just rap, and we would kill niggas, like, off the top on a regular basis. I always formally recorded, you know, and yeah. most of my business was in Philly and it was in New York. But battle rap was something I was always into. Even even when I was working on an album and I had a little bit of radio play and, and shit was moving, um, I, I battled. I battled in Philly. I battled in a couple clubs out there that a couple girls only Philly would know of. But as far as this formal battle rapping, like with cameras and stages and shit, mm. I was a fan. I was always a fan, you know. I followed Smack's movement, Queen mm. of the Ring. I didn't decide to jump in until, damn, a couple years ago. You know, mm. I was a fan for a while. It just, it, I, I, I didn't know if I wanted to do it, didn't want to do it. I came in with no expectation, so. But I had always battled and I had always rapped. Wow. Okay. Okay, so that Philly, you know what, speaking of Jersey, Jersey has, 
some really prominent names in Jersey. You okay. have, you know, UW, you have, uh, you know, Arsenal and Shotgun and Lotteze and all of these. You have any, did, did they ever reach out to you and say, hey, let's try and do something together. Let's try and blow, blow Trap House Jersey up bigger. Or is it more, I got my shit, you work your shit out. When you get big enough, holler back. Is, is there anything like that going on? That hasn't going on with me. Um, at any point, I, I talked about doing business, if anything, more with out-of-towners than Jersey guys. Now, a couple of them reached out to me just, you know, on the strength of battle rap. And I have, you know, somewhat decent relationships with them, and they come out, and they, they would help if I asked. I'm sure they would. But for the most part, nobody has, you know, went out of their way or bent over backwards to help a Jersey movement or anything like that. It took me having, you know, Philly behind me for Jersey to really fuck with me. Wow. So Jersey's, Jersey's a different kind of place. I've been here my whole life. I'm born and raised in Jersey, but it took, you know, and it takes a lot of battle rappers that a lot of niggas, like, they home don't fuck with them until everywhere else does. They don't want you to move forward. A lot of niggas, you know, they just don't, they don't want that for anybody but themselves. So... So Trap House, New Jersey, you got artists on there, you have people that you promoted, you have, you know, some really good battles off of there. What happens to these artists? If you're taking a step back, and I don't want to dig too deep into the, you know, uh, No Mercy or even, uh, you know, however that sort of ended up, but what happened to these artists or these people that are used to battling on, on that Trap House, Jersey platform? I mean, well, for the most part... The guys that have come on are able and have been getting booked to different leagues, you know. Okay. So it definitely opened up some doors for them. If I decide to stay around, it'll probably be a little bit more hands-on in terms of a tighter roster and pushing, you know, pushing the selected few for the roster because right now it's just an open door. I allow anybody to come in mm -hmm. and rap and... I think that's kind of what separates me from a lot of different leagues. I don't try to cater to any particular audience. Mm. You know, if you got any and everybody you can think of coming through battle and at the trap, if you can rap, you can rap. When I step off or when, when it's time to, um, they've done enough so that there's other doors and other opportunities, you know, that they can take. But if I stay, like I said, my, the plan is to ultimately push them to the highest plateau that they can get to. That's beautiful. It, it really sounds like if you uh, have tried to grasp the essence of battle rap, where it's hip hop, it's, it, we meet up on a corner and we see who, who pops off the best. Uh, I kind of like that, you know, instead of this right. Hollywood shit that's going on, you can't get the battles that you want to get. Or the people that I get a lot of, why don't you get URL guys? Well, because URL guys are exactly what they are. They're URL guys. <laughs> why don't you get the girls? Well, because for the most part, anybody that I'm going to book, you know, it's the same thing as if I battle someone. I want someone that I have an admiration for their pen. Or I, have, I have an admiration for what they do up there. And I don't want to just bring any and everybody up. You know, there has to be something that, that we want to see to bring you up there. But they already have platforms. So it's like, I'm not trying to do rap chick battles every week. That's what Queen of the Ring is for. Now you got, you got boss chicks, you know. They don't, that's not, they got, they got, they, they lean. I'm going to stay in mind. My lean is really Jersey right now and the local talent. And then you got these guys coming in from out of town now, you know, giving them fights and shit. That's what I want, to open doors for them guys too, who are coming from out of town. And they may want to get on bigger platforms. You know, and it, it's kind of like the bridge in between. And I don't mind being a bridge. I was never gunning or aspiring for, like, a top spot in terms of battle rap or in terms of owning the league. I came in completely blinded just as a fan. All right. All right. I, I, you know, the more I talk to you, and I, I'm hoping that we get more interviews down the road, even with you wanting to step away. I know you, hip-hop is one of those things you can never quite leave alone. Um, right, right. <laughs> no one is you. You can't. Um, I, I honestly think that you know you have more to give, but 
You know, everybody got to do their thing at their own pace. I respect it. I respect it. Well, you got to look at it like this. How much can a person give if they don't stop and make sure that I'm 100%. I can't push anybody to their capacity if I'm not at mine, mm. you know. And I've been juggling the league and my own career now for two years. With no help? I've With never no... picked one or the other. I've never picked one or the other. I've never just battled. I've never just focused on the league. When it's time to do one or the other, it's going to have to be 100%. And I feel like until I'm able to do that, mm-hmm. I kind of need to take a step, couple of steps back and prioritize, you know, I don't know what means more to me at this point. It's like I'm in love with both. But well, <laughs> I mean, one's my, one is the husband and one's like the side nigga, God forbid, because I'm not like the have a side nigga type of blog, but this is just a great example. It's like one is, is your husband and the other one is like your nigga, and mm-hmm. I just don't know which one. I get so much from both of them, I don't want to choose. So instead of choosing, I'm just going to let them be. That, that That's a great metaphor, and what you're saying is 110% right. If you can't, you know, give 110%, you, you want to sort of give yourself that opportunity to do that. I feel you on that. Right. Right. Um, all right, so what's the next step for Mulatto? Just just fade to black after this last card? Or, um, you know, you want to promote anything that's going on? You know, what, what's next for Mulatto? Well, I still have a whole, I have a whole card full of battles that I still need to drop. I'm going to be dropping um, Amina Bay, Young Cannon versus Alex Lowen is probably going to be the next battle drop in. Um, and then the event where I miss, miss the battles at, that's going to be held probably May. It's probably going to be in May, and that's where T and I will um, get our three rounds out the way. Other than that, I don't know. I've gotten offers by a couple places that I've turned down and it was either like opponent wise, timing wise, or just that I just need that that break and I just don't want to do anything. So I don't really have anything planned. Like I'm not planning on falling back or doing anything in particular. I'm gonna push these battles, I'm gonna get this next event out the way and mm-hmm. we'll just see. Like whatever is supposed to happen is gonna happen. But as of right now, I'm chilling. I'm not taking anything. I'm not setting anything up. I'm just moving with been done already. All right, all right. Well, you know what you're going to have to do? When when you do have the next card set up and that battle with Tia or Young Cannon, you're going to have to hit me back up or I'm going to check in with you every so often. And... I will. Well, the Young Cannon battle will be out in about two weeks. So that one's done already. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'll, keep you, I'll keep you posted with me and Tia. I'll keep you posted. I'm still okay. talking my shit for right now. Push out, Mad Dog. Okay. Thank you for having me. Right. Uh, Trap House. Trap House Jersey. I'm Mulatto Black on everything. Killer underscore Black underscore Trap on Instagram. Mulatto Black and everything else. Okay. All right. Fuck with the Trap House Jersey. I got some crazy battles up there. If you're not subscribed to Trap House Jersey on that YouTube channel and everywhere else, I think you just got a new IG. You know, y'all missing out on some realness here in hip hop. Maybe we true with some real estate. Take the lot of- shit serious like schools do a bomb threats. Handing you the lines like we trying to get our palms red. Mad dog killer son means you beyond that.